achieve the goal that most teachers set out to do when they start as teachers, which is to really be part of the process of human enlightenment, human emancipation, love of learning, um, that awakening that happens with people, like, which is the reason why a lot of us get into teaching. But if you really want to do that, um, you have to be involved in struggles for economic justice and to change the economic priorities of this system and to change the economic system as a whole. Um, because so many of us teachers spend so much time in frustration in the classrooms to empower our students. And within the context in which we're teaching, it's nearly an impossible task. Um, to give an example of what some of the things we can do um, to be empowering, I was just talking to Rafael Lizianco Hernandez from the Puerto Rican Teachers Association. So everyone knows that there was a big student university strike in 2009, 2010 in Puerto Rico. He pointed out to me that most of the students who were involved in that strike were their students when the teachers went on strike in the high schools in 2008. So in terms of really thinking about what could we do to empower students um, to fight for justice, I mean, fighting for our own justice is, is one of the best things that we can do to set an example. How do you actually, as a, as a teacher in a classroom, kind of promote ideas of Marxism or to kind of begin to fight for those changes? I think, you know, part of it is that in, particularly at a high school level or an elementary school level, you have to be careful, you know, because your, your job, they, they want you to stick to fairly narrow things, and that can be very frustrating, but I do think that wherever you possibly can, part of it is actually just allowing for room for critical thought in the classroom and allowing for students to think for themselves, to talk about issues wherever possible, to bring in history and, you know, radicals and people from the past and fight for that kind of thing. And I think there, there is space to do that, even if there's limitations on it that we have to, to do to try to provide that room in our classes. I think radicals and socialists have a particular role to play in kind of fighting for that type of education and bring it wherever possible. But I also think that it's extremely important as a teacher for me to think that it's not just what I do in the classroom. It's about the future of my students as thinkers, as actors, etc. But it's actually what I do outside of the classroom that's even more important. It's organizing the teachers, it's organizing parents, and working together to actually fight for an entirely different kind of educational system and for a world where my students aren't confined to the job at McDonald's, but can actually you know, learn and want to learn because it matters to them so there'll be a way for them to decide for themselves what their world looks like and what they want to do in it and that's the kind of, you know, and, and I think that we have to have be able to do both of those things, fight for that kind of world um, for a complete transformation.